Let me tell you what like and fuck is about. It's all about some lassie who fancies a guy with a big dick. The whole song's a metaphor for the Bobby. No, it's not. It's about this lassie who's very vulnerable. She's been fucked over a few times, and then she meets this guy who's dead sensitive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hud the bus. Go tell that shit to the fucking tourists. Toby, who the fuck's Toby? Like the virgins know about some sensitive girl looking for a nice fella. That's what true blue is about, granted. No argument about that. But one's true blue? You've never heard of true blue? It was a big hit from Madonna in the 80s. Christ, I don't follow that top of the pop shite, even I've heard of true blue. Let me say I hadn't heard of it. What I asked was how's it go? Excuse me for not being the world's biggest Madonna fan. <laughs> Personally, I could do without her. I used to like her early stuff, borderline. But which went off in that, Papa don't preach crap, I tuned it. Ah, Toby, a little Chinese girl. What was that last name? What is that? It's an old address book I found the jacket having gone for donkeys. What was that name? What the fuck was I talking about? You were saying that True Blue is about a guy, uh, a sensitive girl who meets a nice guy, but like a virgin's a metaphor for the boat. Aye. Let me tell you what like a virgin's a bit. It's all about this whore who's a regular fuck machine. I'm talking morning, day, night, afternoon. Bobby, 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 Bobby. I think Bobby's is that. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> so one day, she meets this John Holmes cunt, and it's like, whoa, baby. This cunt thinks she's Charles Bronson in The Great Escape. He's digging tunnels. She's getting serious dick action. And all the time, she's felt something that she's not felt since forever. Pain. Chew. Pain. Toby Chew. It hurts. It hurts her. It shouldn't hurt her. Her fan is like a bus couch by now. But when this guy fucks her, it hurts. It hurts just like it did the first time. You see, the pain is reminding a fuck machine what it was once like to be a virgin. Hence, like a virgin. Boom. Geez, that fucking thing. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Give me that book. I'm sick of fucking hearing it, Joe. I'll get back to you when we leave. What do you mean when you leave? Give me it back now. The past 15 minutes you've been droning on about names. Toby. 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 Toby Wong. Toby Wong. Toby Wong. Toby Chan. Fucking Charlie Chan. I've got Madonna's big dick coming out my left ear. I've got Toby the Jap. I don't know what coming out my right. Give me that book. Are you going to put it away? I'm going to do what the fuck I want, mate. It's my book. Well, I'm afraid I'll need to keep it. Hey, Joe. You want me to shoot this guy? Shit. <laughs> you shoot me in a dream, you better wake up and apologise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here. And you've been listening to that K-Billy Super Sound of the 70s weekend? Oh, aye. It's fucking great. Do you hear these songs? You know what I heard the other day? Shang a Lang by the Bay City oh. Rollers. Man, I've not heard that since I was in fifth year. You made it to fifth year? <laughs> Fuck it off. Oh, see, coming down here, I heard the night the lights went out in Georgia. Now, I've not heard that song since it was big. And when it was big, I must have heard it about a million trillion fucking times. But it wasn't the day I realised that the lassie singing the song is the one that shot Andy. You mean you didn't know that Vicky Lawrence was the one that shot Andy? Oh, no, I thought it was a cheating wife that shot Andy. Aye, but they say it at the end of the song. I, I know that for fuck's sake, I just heard that, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I mean, it was your cheating wife that fucking <laughs> 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 all right, all right. I was so that part of the song. All right, I'll take care of the bill, you lot get a tip. Should be about a knicker each. And you, I'll come back, I want my book. Sorry, it's my book now. Hey, they changed my mind. Shoot this wee prick, will we? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody put in some cash for the little lady. Here, come on, throw in a quid. Uh uh. I don't tip. You don't tip? No, I don't believe in it. You don't believe in tipping? You know what these birds make? They make fuck all. Don't get your piss. She doesn't make enough, she can quit. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't even know a fucking sheep shagger. This is the boys they say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get this straight, you don't ever tip? No. I don't tip because society says I have to. All right, I'll tip if somebody really deserves it. If they really put forth the effort, then I'll give them something extra. But this tipping automatically, it's for ball bags. As far as I'm concerned, she's just doing her job. 
Hey, this lassie was nice. She was all right. She wasn't anything special. What's special? Take the back, suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Did I give her 12% for that? <laughs> Look, I ordered coffee. Now, we've been here a long fucking time, and she's only filled my cup three times. When I order coffee, I want my cup filled six times. Six times? But what if she's too fucking busy? The word's too fucking busy shouldn't be in a waitress's vocabulary. Excuse me, Mr Pink, but the last fucking thing you need is another cup of coffee. Jesus Christ. Now, these ladies aren't starving to death. I mean, they make minimum wage. Now, I used to work minimum wage, and when I did, I wasn't lucky enough to be in a job that society deemed tip worthy. You don't care they're counting on your tips to live on. See what that is? It's the world's smallest violin playing just for the waitresses. <laughs> You don't have any idea what you're talking about. These people bust their arse. This is a hard job. So is working at McDonald's. But you don't feel the need to tip them, do you? Well, why not? I mean, they're serving you food. No, society says, don't tip these guys over here, but tip these guys over here. That's bullshit. Waitressing is the number one occupation for female non-graduates in this country. It's the only job basically any woman can do and make a living on. And the reason is, because of the tips. Fuck all that. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. Look, I'm sorry the government taxes are tips. I mean, that's fucked up, but it's not my fault. I mean, it seems to me that waitresses are one of the many groups the government fucks up the arse on a regular basis. Hey, show me a piece of paper that says the government shouldn't do it. I'll sign it. Put it to a vote, I'll fucking vote for it. But what I won't do is play ball. And this non-graduate bullshit you're giving me, I've got two words for that. Fucking learn to type. Because you're expecting me to help pay the rent. Yeah, got a big fucking surprise. Just convince me. He's my cud back. Hey, you leave that money there. All right, ramblers, let's get rambling. Hey, who did he throw in? Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink? Who no. Doesn't he tip? Doesn't he tip? What do you mean you don't tip? Doesn't he believe in it? Shut up. What do you mean you don't believe in it? Cough up your nickel everybody else, you cheap bastard. I paid for your fucking breakfast. All right. Seeing as you paid for breakfast, I'll chip in. But normally, I would never do this. Never mind what you normally would do. Cough up everybody else, you miserable bastard. Thank you. That was the Partridge family's Doesn't Somebody Want to Be Wanted? Followed by Edison Lighthouse's Love Grows Where My Rosemary Goes. As K. Billy's Super Sounds of the 70s Weekend Just Keeps On Trucking. Hey! Hey! 